The images we have seen coming out of Israel the last several days are horrific, heartbreaking, and barbaric. First and foremost, our prayers are with our Jewish friends and neighbors as they mourn the loss of loved ones and grapple with this unfathomable violence. May their memories be a blessing. Let's be clear. The innocent Israeli civilians who have been kidnapped, raped, beaten, and murdered did nothing to warrant this attack. We are witnessing a rise in anti-Semitism around the world, and I strongly condemn it, and I urge you to do as well. We also pray for all the innocent civilians throughout the region who are suffering as a result of Hamas terrorism. Hamas has carried out this attack, not as a legitimate government, but as a pure terrorist organization. Any country or government that is found to be supportive of this terrorist organization should have the most severe sanctions imposed upon them immediately to shut down the support of these terroristic barbaric actions. Israel remains our most trusted ally in the Middle East and has faced existential threats since their founding in 1948. As your United States Senator, I pledge to continue supporting the state of Israel in every possible way. Any West Virginian in Israel seeking to leave, please make sure you have gone to the State Department's website and filled out their crisis intake. From then, reach out to my office for additional help. God blesses Israel, and may God continue to bless the United States of America and the great state of West Virginia.